Hey guys, welcome to Easy Paintings by Ishita. Today I am doing a commissioned artwork and this is for Frida Kahlo. My client wanted this painting, hence I'm making this portrait. If you know about Frida Kahlo, she is one of the greatest painters of all time. So let's go ahead and get this started. The first thing I'm doing is I am outlining the pencil sketch that I have made of Frida Kahlo. I'm outlining it with black acrylic. And once the outlining is done, I'm filling up the spaces. I'm just placing the colors of the hair, the clothes, also the face makeup, also the background first. And then we will move on to the detailing part. Now first, I am applying a dark shade of foundation or you can say a mixture of white and brown and once the dark shade is applied I will then be layering it with another light shade to give that effect of the face shading. For a portrait we always layer it in steps so we start with the darkest first and then we go to lighter version so always keep that in mind whenever you are working with acrylics coloring a portrait always go with the darker shade first and then move on to the lighter shades. Do you see how I have colored the entire face? I have applied in, on top of the black markings as well. That was the reason initially I have done the outlining with black so that it is visible from within the other layers of colors. Now I'm making the background. The original photograph has a green background, hence I'm doing the same color for the background. Guys, if you're new to my channel, kindly check out and do consider subscribing. I have over 60 tutorials for beginners with all step-by-step -step instructions already uploaded for you to see. So kindly go ahead and check it out and do subscribe and connect with me in this journey of art. So I'm pretty much done placing the colors and now I'm making the headband along with placing the colors on the highlights of the hair. So here I'm using white, a little mixed in black, almost a grey shade to make the highlights of the hair. And now with grey colour, which is pretty dark grey, I am making the hair strands. I'm now shading the white with grey just to give a little effect of like I'm just blending it basically the highlights with the actual hair and now I have taken some orange and pink 
to start making the flowers again I'm only placing the colors at this time later I will be again touch basing with detailing it with a finer brush Once I have placed the colors for the flowers, I am now moving towards making the actual eyebrows along with the eyes and the nose. And now placing the color for the lips. I'm using red and orange here. I will be applying other layers. So this is just the base layer of red. And now with dark brown, I'm just layering the eyes and making the little skin and stuff on the top. Here I am trying to make the shadows for the nose and I will be correcting it later. This is just the first layer so I am just placing the colors first. And now we are shading the neck. So these are the shadows which are pretty dark and I will also be blending it to be smudging it with the other layers. And this is the contouring part that we are doing with a little darker version of brown. And now with a little white, I'm just highlighting the forehead along with the cheek area. Here blending is very important guys. Normally for the portraits, it's a little patchy. So you have to make sure you blend these pretty well. For the sake of YouTubing, I am not blending it much but later after completing this, I will again be sitting to blend it further so as to smooth it out further. And now the eyebrows, so with a very fine liner tip, I am making eyebrows. So she had a joint eyebrows, so that's what I did here. I'm again retouching the lips here. And now we are making the blusher or the blush on and I'm using a little of pink and I feel hands are the best to smudge an area and I'm using my fingers to do this. I'm just blending it and I'm now moving forward to making the petals for the roses. She always had floral headbands and that's her signature stuff in every portrait that she has made of herself.
friends you have observed that i normally make all landscape paintings so yeah i do make landscapes more than portraits but i um, i really enjoyed making this portrait it came out really well so i just made the eyes now and i will now be applying highlights in the eyes Just making the hairline, made the jewellery. And I'm applying the shading and contouring the areas. Once the detailing on the jacket is done, I am now detailing the background. The original photograph had a pink background, so I just made the same. I am trying to keep it very muted so that the attention goes to Frida and not the background. So this is very faint and muted. And now I am signing this. But I will be coming back and touch basing this once again just to make few more changes. So I will show you how I finalized the final stuff. Let me show you the picture for it. So this is the final version I just edited and this is my client. She loved the painting. So this is my last commission artwork in the US before I move on to India. So guys, I hope you liked how to make a acrylic portrait and you learned something today. So kindly like, share and comment on this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel Easy Paintings by Ishita.